everyone and welcome to another video. I'm Catherine with the Neo Cyber Institute and today we're talking about another capture the flag competition technique, SSH. At the end of the video, I'm also including a bit of information about how to practice for CTFs and what sites are most helpful for that. Let's get started. SSH stands for Secure Shell. It's a network protocol designed to allow for secure communication between two computers over a possibly unsecured network. In capture the flag competitions or training, SSH is usually conducted over the command line or terminal desktop. The connections shown in this video are done on my personal computer as I connect to the Bandit Zero challenge on the CTF training site over the wire, which I will link in the description. Since you do have to SSH into each challenge separately on that site, it's a great way to get better at using SSH. Logging into another computer remotely via SSH is pretty easy. First of all, you have to have SSH pre-installed. Linux and Mac systems have always come with SSH capabilities, and recently Windows has added it to their Windows 10 and Windows Server 2019 machines. If you have an older version of Windows, you'll have to install SSH yourself. Both Sigwin and Putty are popular free SSH programs. Once you have SSH on your computer, you should navigate to your terminal. In Windows, this would be the command prompt. SSH doesn't have a GUI, which stands for a graphical user interface. This means you need to type in all the commands instead of clicking on buttons the way you would in a normal browser. The command to connect is simply SSH followed by a few parameters. You can see the structure of it on your screen. From left to right, input the username you're connecting as, the at symbol, the address or IP of the remote computer, and any additional parameters you'd like. Commonly, especially in CTFs, you are asked to connect via a specific port number. To do this, you add dash P followed by the port number. Once the command is properly entered and you hit enter, you'll sometimes be greeted with a message saying something along the lines of, we can't authenticate the certificate. Do you still want to continue? This is safe to ignore if you know what you're connecting to. An online certificate is kind of like a physical birth certificate. It officially guarantees that the site is what it claims to be. By displaying this message, the SSH service is basically saying that there's no way to authenticate the host that you're connecting to. If you're competing in a capture the flag or training on a CTF website, it's usually safe to enter yes and bypass the message. You'll then be prompted for a password. This is the password of the actual user on the other server or machine. If you enter the correct one, you're now officially logged in as that other user remotely. After you're connected, you can do anything on that computer that the user you logged in as can do from the terminal or command prompt. One thing to note is that you've connected to a Linux machine, you can only run Linux commands. And if you've connected to a Windows machine, you can only use Windows commands. Even if the computer you're presently sitting in front of is a Windows, if you've SSH'd into a Linux system, you can only run Linux commands. You can read files, edit them, delete them, change their permissions, or even copy them from their machine to yours or vice versa. In our example, you can see that I can list all the files present on the machine and read the file with the flag. In capture the flag competitions, the difficulty of the SSH problems varies a lot. Sometimes all you have to do is connect. Other times you'll have to search the machine remotely for the flag or perform other tasks. In any case, connecting to a computer via SSH is a valuable skill to have if you compete in CTFs or if you're a cybersecurity professional in the real world. In this video, I also wanted to add some resources you can use to practice for CTFs. Over the Wire, the site I demonstrated SSH connection with is a great resource. Hack the Box is another one. You have to actually hack yourself a login. Hack the site is a third. I've linked the list of these and other sites in the description box for your practice. The best way to get ready for a CTF is, of course, to do an actual CTF. Many competitions preserve their old systems, allowing you to compete or participate in closed events. For example, Pico CTF, a popular capture the flag competition, still keeps their 2019 competition materials up, even though it's currently 2020. This means that even now, you can go back in and access the old challenges. Using old competition materials is a great way to become acquainted with the types of problems and techniques that you'll find in other CTFs. I hope you enjoyed this latest video by the Neo Cyber Institute on SSH and capture the flag practice. If you have any questions or suggestions, you're free, you can feel free to leave them in the comments below. I will of course link more information in the description box. This is Catherine from the Neo Cyber Institute. Thanks for watching.